notice in this clip I am given the function f of x um, equals to x plus 3 divided by x squared minus 9. And uh, I am asked to find the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 3. In b, I'm asked to find the limit of f of x as x approaches 3. And then I am asked to find the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity. So let me begin with part a. So a. So we know that f of x is equal to x plus 3 over x squared minus 9. So x plus 3 over x squared minus 9. I notice that this is a difference of squares. So I might as well factor this. So this is going to become x minus 3 times x plus 3, right? And then I cancel out the x plus 3's, right? So now they're telling me, they want me to compute the limit, okay, as x approaches negative 3 of 1 over x minus 3. Well, if I substitute negative 3 in here, this is going to become 1 over negative uh, 6. So I was able to actually get out of a kind of ugly situation by factoring uh, x plus 3 from uh, the numerator and the denominator after, um, or canceling x plus 3 from the numerator and the denominator after I factor the denominator. Okay, so that is done. So the, the limit is 1 over negative uh, 6. Okay, so all right, so the next one that I want to do is I want to find the limit as x approaches uh, 3 of this thing. Well, that might be a little bit more complicated. Let's see why. Okay, so I have here okay, I have here that so I want to find the limit as x approaches 3 of this stuff. Well, let's see. So I'm going to factor it again the way I did before. So I have x plus 3, right? Then I have x minus 3 times, okay, x plus 3. Right, so I'm approaching x equals to 3. Well. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to cancel out, after factoring, I'm going to cancel out this, as I did before. So I have here the limit as x approaches 3 of 1 over x minus 3. Well, this looks like a situation where I am not really going to have a limit, because as I get arbitrarily close, well, to, to 3, Okay, uh, this shoots to infinity. This is this graph here is the graph of the function. Let me actually tell you what this graph over here is. The graph of this expression over here of one over x minus three. If I look at the function y is equal to one over x minus three, um, the graph is going to look. So if I look at the graph of the function y is equal to one, this is the graph over here. Y. This is the graph of the function y equals to 1 over x. Okay, What I'm doing to this graph is when I take the graph of 1 over x minus 3, I take this graph and move it down 3 units. I'm going to be moving this graph 3 units. So if you, if you see this as, you know, so if I move this graph 3 units down, um, I get the same graph except that this, the, the y-axis has been moved, let's say, 3 units down. And uh, so what is going to happen as x approaches 3 from the right is that this is going to shoot up to infinity. As x approaches 3 from the left, this is going to go into negative infinity. So this limit does not exist. Okay? Limit does not exist. So, does not exist. Okay? So this limit does not exist. Alright? So that I actually, the way I did it was, I look at the graph of 1 over x, and I observe, okay, that the graph of 1 over x is similar to this graph, except that I have taken the graph of 1 over x minus 3, of the function y is equal to 1 over x minus, minus 3, and moved it to the right. So I took this graph here, 
this graph and moved it to the right, both of them, three units. So I went one, two, three. And, you know, so essentially the graph looks exactly the same. So as x approaches three from the right, okay, this graph shoots to infinity. As x approaches three on the left, the graph shoots to negative infinity. So this limit does not exist. Okay, the limit of 1 over x minus 3 does not exist. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, so this is, this is the solution to, to part B. Okay, so the limit does not exist. Okay, so, and um, now I want to find the limit as x approaches infinity of, of course, of x plus 3 over x squared minus 9. But notice that the denominator has greater degree than the numerator. Okay? So notice the denominator has greater degree, it's a polynomial of greater degree than the numerator. Okay? So the limit, so this tells me right away that the limit okay, as x approaches infinity of x plus 3 over x squared minus 9 is going to be equal, since the denominator has greater degree, a polynomial of greater degree than the degree of the numerator, this is going to be equal to 0. This is also telling me, okay, that the horizontal asymptote for the function y equals to x plus 3 over x squared minus 9 is equal uh, to 0. Okay, the horizontal asymptote is y equals to zero. All right. Um, okay. By the way, something I should mention over here um, that this over here, because this uh, function. Uh, does not have a limit as x approaches 3, this tells me that the vertical asymptote of this uh, rational expression is at the value x equals 3. So this over here, in part b, I know that the vertical asymptote, the vertical is at x equals 3. Okay? Uh, thank you for listening.